Carly, I forgot to ask you, do you have a name for your car? No. Oh, you no. need to name Maybe it. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll name it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy beginning of spring break. Spring officially arrives today at 345, and it's going to be cloudy and rainy one. We're already starting to see the clouds roll in. These will thicken as the morning goes on, as you can see on the latest satellite and radar as these clouds are moving into the Willamette Valley. A little bit of sprinkle action, mainly offshore right now, but the bulk of the precipitation still in the Pacific right ahead of this cold front that's going to start to make its way in tonight. And as it does, you'll see the rain and start to pick up. So here's the plan are for this morning and this afternoon. Dry to start, mostly cloudy. We'll be right around 58 for your lunch hour. However, I do think we'll start to see some sprinkles around that time period. Once we get into the evening commute, that's where we're going to look for more of the steady to heavier downpours coming in. We'll see the rain continuing through tonight. It's going to be a wet evening. 55 by 9 o'clock, a little bit of a breeze picking up there from the south at 11, right around 54 degrees. So timing this out for you today. Again, noon hour to about 1 o'clock, we could see a few sprinkles. The bulk of the moisture will be offshore. And as we get into the evening hours, the coast could maybe even get an isolated rumble of thunder with this front as it pulls through. So here's 6:30, looking wet at that time period. Overnight tonight, 9:30, periods of downpours, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder, like I mentioned from the coast range point west. Overnight tonight, going to stay wet at times. Now, getting into tomorrow morning, we're going to continue to see those showers off and on and sun breaks in the afternoon hours. The bulk of the moisture really starts to lift to the north as we get to the evening hours. We get a bit of a break overnight on Saturday night before the next system arrives by Sunday afternoon. So things are going to turn wet again. Now, how much rain are we looking for? I do think we'll maybe pick up around a half of an inch or so, at least this model in particular saying this. Some areas could get a little bit more than some of the heavier downpours, most likely up to around an inch, maybe a little bit more out towards the coast. So the metro forecast for today, going to keep it in the lower 60s for you in Beaverton as well as Lake Oswego. 63 for Portland, 62 to 63 for Clackamas and Gresham, and then up toward Vancouver and Salmon Creek. You're going to be in the lower 60s tonight with uh, temperatures in the upper 40s for the overnight lows. So if you're headed to the coast for spring break, rain will be likely and temperatures in the upper 50s. It'll be wet at times again through the I-5 corridor, especially this evening. East the mountains, you'll see your clouds increasing with the chance of rain likely this evening. The snow levels start to drop tonight. We could see maybe even uh, around two to five inches of snow by tomorrow evening. So here's that extended forecast. Going to be wet off and on through the week. Monday and Tuesday, slightly cooler temperatures with temperatures back to the lower 60s by Wednesday with a few, or Wednesday with a few sun breaks coming in. So not too bad there. All right. Maybe it'll be a better winter next year for yeah. the skiers yeah. There's and always snowboarders. Next year. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we kind of missed out this year. <laughs> it was warm this year, I know. Uh, let's get to the Pequod forecast because we're talking about dry conditions this morning and then again, wet conditions coming in for tonight. And this one's going to